We turn now to a story you may not want your young children to watch about a dark side of this country most of us never see or even know exists. A world where children, teenage girls mostly, but some as young as 11, are lured into a life of prostitution. Every year there are as many as 300,000 victims, and that's what they are, victims of a criminal enterprise that's growing larger by the day. Because unfortunately, there's a huge market for these lost girls. This is something that I can't take back. This is something that I'm going to have to regret for the rest of my life. This straight-A student who did not want to be identified was afraid she couldn't afford college when her father lost his job in the auto industry. As she confided to a friend on this Michigan campus, someone was listening. A man approached me and offered me, you know, pretty much a way to pay for school. Earning $400 a trick, she said yes. You come from a nice family with good values. Was there something about it that made you think, gosh, things aren't that bad that I have to prostitute myself? You know, like there was that voice in the back of my head saying, oh, you know, things aren't this bad off, and then you'd get the school bill, or you'd get, you know, this bill or that bill, and you'd be like, well, you know, I'm not gonna be able to get $14,000 any other way. In 10 days, she earned $2,500. How did you feel afterwards? I always felt dirty. I would always go home and shower at least a couple of times and, you know, you just feel scummy. For Rosita, it wasn't about the money. It was a way to cope with her father's death from cancer. He's in memory of that. When she was just 15 years old, a man walked up to her outside her middle school in Columbus, Ohio, told her she was pretty and he wanted to be her boyfriend. He turned out to be a pimp. He would take me to this office space that somebody was leasing out to him and he would set up the dates. She spent the next three years averaging eight customers a day, $150 a piece. All of the money went to her pimp. I was just put out the die. This is not the kind of problem America thinks it is. Yes, Where did the lead come from? Ernie Allen of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children says prostitutes in this country are younger than ever, and they no longer all come from impoverished or broken homes. What we're seeing now is an increasing number of middle-class kids and up, many of whom uh, do it originally on a dare or because they think it's, it's interesting or different, and then find themselves trapped. In the last several years, a federal initiative to save girls from the street called Innocence Lost, has conducted thousands of sting operations in over 30 cities, rescuing more than 700 victims and locking up 400 pimps. We're going to start off doing the hotel operation. We went inside a sting operation in Washington, D.C., where agents were searching for underage girls on these Internet sites. They look young, and also the photograph is from a playground. Exactly. All part of a booming billion dollar business that's become increasingly high tech and underground. <clears throat> Kayla? This undercover officer is arranging a date with a young girl in this ad. Hey, how you doing? I was uh, scanning the internet here and uh, just like to meet up with you. A short while later, in room 1141, they agreed to a price. How much two hours? He wants to know how much it's going to be for two hours. Yeah, for 80. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I got A 17-year-old in the business since she was 15 was arrested. What happens to her now that she's been arrested? She's going to be interviewed, um, you know, see if she wants to get out of lifestyle prostitution. Clint Lacey's daughter was 16 when she became a prostitute. It never entered my mind that, that the opportunity for her to go down this road would be there. Living with her mother in Atlanta after her parents divorced, she ran away and was lured by a pimp who showered her with gifts and attention. I went to great lengths to stay in contact with her in finding websites and doing th whatever I had to do to keep, get a phone number for her. His efforts to get her off the streets have cost him $30,000, but nothing has worked, and he's desperate to have her home. I'd love to have her. I'd love to have her walking through the door. Rosita was rescued from the streets just in time, She's earned her GED and is now living in a group home. 
I feel loved and they do care and it's about helping me see who I am and helping me get to know myself and, and showing me that I am worth it. Jessica says the best thing that ever happened to her step up on me. was getting caught in this FBI sting along with this man, her pimp. You must have been pretty scared. I was, I was, I was shot. You know, you kind of reflect and go, how did I end up here? A first offender, she was released. Now she's taking a few semesters off, working two jobs and saving money. Do you think you would ever go back to doing this again? No. I think now that I've really thought about it, you know, I'm just mortified that I did it in the first place.